special connection between your country and me, <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> and of course here at Kaisa we are very happy that we have a Nigerian staff member, Oge Ene, who is our culture producer. And Oge is really the lady behind this <laughs> Oge is now unfortunately leaving us for 10 months to go back to her native country, but we hope we can get her back there. <laughs> No one will clutch her completely if they answer in Nigeria. And I would like to also mention that the we quite producing a lot of different cultural workshops here at Kaisa. She is very much in favor, especially among young children from daycare children centers and schools. So Fatima is part of the Kaisa also. And there are many other Nigerians by all time would be uh, gone if I would list all the others who have been taking part in different like power and other organizations. So Nigerians are doing a great contribution here at Kaisa. And I would also like to mention here <laughs> like an advanced news that uh, 212 when uh, Helsinki you know, Helsinki has been nominate, nominated uh, among some other cities as a World Design Capital 212. And as part of that program, we are here in Kaisa going to have a Nigerian exhibition. It's an artist who has made the uh, record covers for Fela Kuti. Wow. So we count on having that exhibition here, as well as other Nigerian programs. So this is a small introduction of how Nigeria is very visible also here in Kaisa. And uh, once again, from my part, I'm very happy to have you here, Nigerians, Finns, everyone. Kaisa is your home in Helsinki. Feel free to come here anytime. This is the warm and international heart of Helsinki here in the middle of the town. Most welcome and have a very interesting evening. Thank you. Thank you. We welcome you. Uh, Excellency, the ex uh, first lady of the Lagos State, you are welcome. of this program for inviting me because at first I said why me? I know they are Nigerians and Nigerians just uh, Nigeria just celebrated 50 years of independence so we all had a celebration back home and uh, my husband was uh, finished its tenure as Lagos State Governor for the past almost three years now so I was wondering why me? But um, I'm really deeply honored. I want to particularly to thank um, Abayomi, Oge, Fatima, um, Unjimansi, 
I'm Vincent. I know I met a lot of, I came in very, very late this morning. So, and I want to tell Johanna too that we are both 50 years with Nigeria. So we are all celebrating. So I want to really thank you for all the warm hospitality and for inviting me to speak. I'm particularly humbled by that. And I hope I'll be able to do justice to the paper and the title of the paper I was given, which was The Role of Women in Nation Building, 50 Years of Nigeria Independence in Perspective. And um, you don't mind me tackling my paper to be 50 years labor of love. And I would like the papers to be distributed since um, I might be talking through in between. It's rather a very long paper. So if you don't mind me just keeping some and then you can read it. I see it's a very relaxed evening. And I want to thank the speaker before me. That was really, really, I didn't want to come up and speak. That was a really, really wonderful story you told. And I want to thank you. It's as if we are just in the art world. And I did particularly enjoy it. So thank you. We are gathered here today at this momentous period in the history of our nation because of our unique identity as Nigerians and more importantly because of our uniqueness as women folk and mothers of the nation. I particularly would like to congratulate our Nigerian women in Finland and also back home. And indeed, everybody here present on this auspicious occasion. From time immemorial, women have always played critical roles in the affairs of the communities, okay, you need one in the well. quality, you need one and society well. at large. Yeah, but it's Today, there is increasing no, acknowledgement that a nation cannot make meaningful progress without active involvement of women. Those as major contributors to societal development Women are getting more prominent roles in the management of the affairs of our country at all tiers of governance in business, politics, and social services, among others. With more empowerment and opportunities, they have been found wanting as the experiences of the last five decades have shown. So this presentation is a tribute to Nigerian women in national development, and the rationale is well rooted. As pillars of the home front, women have increasingly sustained the family in several cases as breadwinners. They are bastions of the rural economy, toiling all day at the farms, in the streams, rivers, and in the kitchen to ensure the welfare of their families. On the highways, you would see a women sitting at the tailboards of freight trucks, some of them nursing mothers with their babies, traversing the country to purchase and sell goods. These women are exposed to the elements and all kinds of man-made dangers, some life-threatening. In crisis situations, women bear the most burdens. During wars and civil unrest, it is them who lost husbands and sons and have to take over full care of the family. In times of recession, they have to juggle adjustments to the family budgets and yet give every member their fill. Right from the colonial era, women were actively involved in the nationalist movement for independence. Female activists of that period include Chief Mrs. Margaret Echo, Chief Mrs. Fulayo Granson Kuti, Hajia Gambo Sawaba of the Nepo fame, and which is the Northern Element Progressive Union, a party led by Dr. Amin Okan. Students of politics and history would also recall the courageous Nigerian women who organized the, and held a successful protest against the high-handedness of the colonialists in 1929. From the First Republic to date, Nigerian women have held their own against all odds in all segments of the society. In politics, Chief Mrs. Esson emerged as the first Nigerian female senator, 
Since then, we have had quite a number of women in the executives, judicial, and legislative arms of government and local, state, and federal levels. And they have added great contributions in their schedules. In the professions, women have continued to make tremendous impact in their various fields of endeavor. The educational sector has witnessed the emergence of many female administrators and senior academics. Aside from several others in critical roles at the primary, secondary, and tertiary levels, we have on record two women who have served as university vice chancellors. They are Professor Grace Alede Williams 